Collège de France is a special institution which represents the excellence of French research. It was founded by Francis I in 1530 in the heart of the Latin Quarter to teach disciplines that were forbidden at the time by the very religious Sorbonne. The Collège de France was founded in the 16th century to teach subjects which were not taught at the university and to develop a free teaching. Research obviously does not have the same meaning as in the 16th century, but the spirit remains. There is extreme freedom in every sense of the term. The Collège de France is an institution designed for fundamental research and to allow it to develop in the best conditions of trust and time. And this is absolutely remarkable and in this sense I think this institution is unique in France and the world. No diplomas, no exams, anybody can attend the Collège de France lectures in Paris or online, free of charge, with no registration, historians, mathematicians, biologists, philosophers, chemists, anthropologists, Teachers lecture on their research and recent developments. Their assignment is to teach evolutions in science such as it occurs. I think this is one of the elements that makes our lectures so attractive. A great many people attend these, although they are not necessarily specialists in the topics studied, but they are fascinated by the fact that they are witnessing science in the making. Ampère, Champollion, Berthelon, Claude Bernard, Valéry, and more recently Foucault, Lévi-Strauss, Barthes, Bourdieu or Pierre-Gilles de Gênes. The most famous French thinkers had chairs at the Collège de France, which are renewed on the basis of scientific developments. Ten professors have won a Nobel Prize. The most recent one was given to Serge Arroche in 2012. Recruitment at the Collège de France is very specific. It is peer-based. The assembly of our professors select the research subjects for a particular chair and select the personality who is going to take the chair. The freedom we have to choose the topics allows us to choose subjects which are more risky, which are at the crossroads of several disciplines. Once the professors have been appointed, we have this wealth of interaction. When you enter the Collège de France, you enter a community where you discuss and become friends very often with people who work in different fields. And in no other institution in France is this type of contact possible. 300 fellow researchers and as many engineers and technicians work for the 57 chairs and specialized institutes. The new research labs will welcome even more foreign scientists as well as young talents. The Collège de France is eager to contribute to upholding the values of knowledge, of fundamental research, of research based on pure curiosity. Our ambition for the coming years is to increase contacts between generations. We want to allow young teams of scientists to start in an atmosphere conducive of research, to move towards other places and to spread the spirit of freedom and trust in research beyond the Collège de France in France and abroad.